guys, I'm Mark. I am the CEO of W Scripton Family. And um, before I was that, I was the head of the print on demand department, which I am still, but well now I have another task on top. So I'm going to explain to you guys what it means for us to do color printing and why especially it took us so long to enable color printing for our imprints. Um, and I have to start with something really dry, which is the retail price, because, well, the retail price is the one that gets most impacted by color printing. Well, why is that? The retail price uh, comprises of three major factors. The first being the production costs of the book, of course, like, uh, well, the page printing and the cover and so on. The second is the wholesale margin, which is a fixed percentage depending on wholesaler. And the third one is the publication process costs, like salaries, server costs, transfer costs, um, conversion costs, and so on and so forth. And um, the basis for the retail price, because the other factors are all in flux, um, are the production costs. So if the production costs are high, the retail price will be high. So um, I need to give you a short production cost overview so you get a feeling uh, what it actually means to print in color compared to print in black and white. Um, paper is cheap. It is, in fact, so cheap that you can totally neglect the paper price. The uh, expensive thing for printing is the ink. And to give you a heads up on what average printing page price we have, this is a price for one page in black and white. And on top of that, like if there are 400 pages, this is the, page for, the price for one page. If we have a book of 400 pages, uh, on top of this times 400 come the cover and the process cost, handling cost, like wrapping, for example. And for a color page, take another color for that, um, it's 0.08 euros. You already see that's about six times the price of a color page of a black and white page. Now, why is that? Well, um, if you print one color, like pink, you don't print one color, you actually print four. Because if you see pink as a color, there are four little dots on the page which make your eyes see pink, and that is the color cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Maybe you have read that somewhere already, that is C, M, Y, and K, and that is how color printing works. And because you have four colors instead of one for black and white, you have already four times the costs. Now, printing in color is more complicated as well, and that means that the machines are more complex, the machines are more expensive, that increases the price as well, and the machines need to be constantly maintained, unlike uh, black and white printing. So. Just an example, every color printer should be calibrated around every six hours uh, when running. So that also raises the price to this six times the black and white costs. And um, we couldn't do that in the past for uh, pretty simple reasons. We needed to keep the retail costs down because in the past printing partners were saying, well, you can print in either black and white or in color. And, uh, well, that is bad. If you have a book of, for example, 200 pages, and you have just, let's say, three color pages in there worth being printed in color, you had to say to the printer, well, okay, then print all pages in color. And that is kind of a waste in production costs. So, um, what happened? One of our printing partners in 2011, I think, uh, filed a patent which allowed to print only defined pages in color and the remaining pages in black and white. So you gave them sort of a list of the pages you want to have to print in color, want to have printed in color, and then um, they said, okay, we're going to print these in color and put the other ones in black and white into the final file. So that was kind of a hybrid model for color and black and white printing. What does that mean for the costs? Okay, let's give, let's give um, you an example of the difference between pure black and white and uh, color printing and uh, hybrid color printing as that one printing partner of us did back then. 
and that's how we're going to work in the future. So imagine you have a 400 pages book and that has a page price of 8 cents per page. If you print that in full color, that is a printing cost only of 32 euros plus uh, cost for cover and handling. Now let's imagine you have only 40 pages of that book to be printed in color and the remaining 360 pages can be printed in black and white. So this would be that price and this would be that price. For the 40 color pages um, you would have a price of 3 euro, I cannot even write 20, and for the remaining black and white pages you would have a price of 4 euros 68, and that is a total of 7 euros and 88 cents. And now that is a price we can actually work with for color printing. You have the 7 euros 88 here and the 32 euros here. We can strike these through because we don't have to necessarily print everything in color. We can now say, well, let's let the author decide uh, which pages should be in color and which can be in black and white. And that is how we're going to do that. And on top of that, we will show or explain the author what impact the amount of color pages uh, have on the final retail price. So, yeah, I just hope that this gave you a little impression of how we're going to work in the future. So, enjoy color books, I would say. Thank you.